Hi, YouTube. If you're wondering why I'm out of breath, let future me go ahead and fill you in. Wolf, thank you for gifting tier one subs to them. And Dare Donner Bakken, uh, Naha Bach, and Jack Carson's rail videos. We're not done yet because then Human decided to jump in and say, hey, I want a piece of that action and gifted tier one subs to Daster Hunter, Meridian Owl, Life2222, Carbata, and Deck Stream. And we're still not done because then alana kitty decided to jump in and outdo both of them at once together with 15 gifted subs so satisfying yeah for some reason the uh the lighting effect on that th on that thing when it creates the salt and the water is glitched so it's way brighter than it should be but let me just go ahead and fill you all on what you missed because well actually you didn't miss much i just played the game a bit uh off screen and went back to some areas that i uh that i had uh, not fully explored yet and i found the vehicle modification station uh we have our seamoth currently docked i also found the plans to, well, actually, not found the plans, but I found the resources to make the Seamoth Depth Module Mark III. I also made several other upgrades for our Seamoth, including a storage module, a perimeter defense system, which I have not tested out yet, and Darth Leprechaun, thank you for the 100 bits. Have fun, Seth, thank you. But yes, the depth, uh, excuse me, the perimeter defense system, which I have not tested out yet, and the torpedo system, which I have tested out. Uh, and currently it is loaded with what are known as gravity, uh, gravity torpedoes, which do what you think they do. They trap things in them. So that'll be fun to play with. So yeah, y'all know that the, uh, the depth mod, the, the crushing depth of the Seamoth is typically 200 meters, right? Well, let me just slap this in here. Boom, 900. Let me just go ahead and show you all what I've been doing in the off time. I made a second level to our storage part of our facility, so we'll have plenty of storage because we've been running low. I've been going on a bit of a farming material spree. The reason why I decided to flee the blood kelp forest is because we're actually, as far as I can tell anyway, nowhere near ready to explore that area yet because we still have to find one more thing for our prawn suit, the grapple hook which I have no idea where we find that. We're gonna be going to areas that we've already been to and searching through them to try to find them. I also found something rather interesting, but uh, I'll, sh I'll save that to when I actually get to it. How do you recharge a Cyclops since it's too big for the moon pool? Well, funny you ask that actually. After I'll show you that once we're done here. So let me just go ahead and show off the uh, upgrade modules I got for the Cyclops here. We have two engine efficiency modules. one depth meter module and one decoy tube upgrade we now have three decoy tubes looted uh, uh, loaded uh, into our decoy launcher those things do exactly what you think they do i also fully well, almost fully recharged that one power cells at 98 percent but close enough just about fully recharged all the power cells in our cyclops because we have ourselves a power cell charger that was another thing that I missed in the uh, pod. Uh, that was what I found the I found that and the vehicle upgrade station in the area aboard, where we found pod 19. So here we are. This is the power cell launcher uh, launcher recharger. It eats power for breakfast, but it is very useful. And speaking of eating, let's go ahead and uh, get myself some food here. We also have ourselves a little garden growing outside. I've replaced the biofuels fuel with uh, these here acid mushrooms. They're actually quite good fuel because you can grow them really quickly and uh, they actually produce a, a pretty good amount of energy per one and you can fit more of, one more of them into a bioreactor than the lantern fruit. Also, these deep mushrooms that we picked up in the blood kelp forest, I was able to use those to make, uh, what was it called again? The the, um, the 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 green stuff in the green bottle. Let me just go ahead and just figure out what it was again. Uh, oh yeah, well, first of all, you use them to make hydrochloric acid, which you then make into 
polyaniline, which was what we needed to make several upgrades. So yeah, we are, uh, we're quite a, not, we, we're not further along story-wise, but I caught up in terms of technology that I should have, or rather I should have had at this point. You went that deep? Yeah, we were in the Blood Kelp Forest last time. Um, we got the deep mushrooms. We also punched a bunch of crab squids. I still don't know why people were freaking out when I saw those things, because if you have the prawn suit, I mean, they're really not that hard to fight. You can just, you can either go under or jump over their EMP wave. But either way, uh, what do we need to do today? We need to go back to the pod 19 area as I just go back and forth through my fucking doorway. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just immensely forgetful. We need to go back to the pod 19 area and uh, finish exploring it because there is, I believe anyway, an alien facility there. But yes, we are about to disembark. So let me just go ahead and grab. We're going to keep that in there. Oh, well, thank you, actually. Handy. We're going to go ahead and grab two of these and we're going to grab, we're going to get ourselves some cured food as well. Going to prepare ourselves for a long journey. Before we leave though, we can in fact name our Seamoth and that's what I was kind of waiting for the stream to do because I do have a name in mind. So once I get all my uh, gear in order and I'm ready to go, we'll name our Seamoth and we'll be off. And once we get back, we'll name our prawn suit. Oh, also, I forgot. I also found this, the reinforced dive suit, also around the pod 19 area, which halves the damage I take and also allows me to go into areas with uh, high temperatures, which we will need to do eventually. I don't know where we need to go to do that, but I know there's an area that's like 90% fire, so we do need to go there. The Poot Poot Mark III, bask in its glory. And now, off we go. Coincidentally, this is also the direction we need to go to go to the uh, proposed Degasi ha uh, habitat, so we're gonna go exploring around that area. Yeah, this is what I found. Let me just make sure there's no reaper, or reapers, warpers, reapers as well, but there, sh there shouldn't be reapers around here, but yeah. This is what I found here. This uh, alien vent, I believe is what it is. Let me see if I can get a bit closer. Did I scan it already? I did not. These vents connect, uh, connect to an ancient piping uh, network that extends... Hi, fish. <laughs> Hold on a second. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Bunch of fish just bumping into me. Okay, fine. Let me just get a bit further up. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, the inflow vent uh, is drawing water from the surrounding area. And okay, fine. I'll go further up then. <laughs> Fucking hell, how far up do you need me to go before you stop headbutting me? The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and ex exiting the pipe without signs of distress. Uh... I'll ex entering and exiting looks more like that little thing got sucked down into it. Is that blood kelp? Wait a sec. Are we back in the blood kelp forest? Did we go... Hold on a second, let me... We, no, we can't be back in the blood kelp forest because, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that was life pod two. Yeah, no, we're not. This is, this is a completely different area. This just happens to have blood kelp in it? Okay, this area is, uh, deep. Maybe I should bring the Cyclops so I can bring, uh, so I can bring my punchy boy, my prawn suit. God damn, it is dark. I can't tell what's the soundtrack and what's actually noise in the game world right now. Man, oh. Hi, Re uh, excuse me, Warper. Don't mind me, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Don't mind me. Also, I think I dodged it. Yeah, I think I dodged its projectile. Whatever that was, it shot. I think it shot something at me. I think someone said they shoot things at you that teleport you out of the vehicle you're in. Okay, so we do have, we have confirmed to have uh, warpers down here. Good. 
Awesome. We are going so far away from the fucking Degasi habitat. I'm not even sure if this is the right way. You know what? Hold on a second. While I'm here. While- since I'm in the area, bitch. Hey, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Goodbye. All right. Should be far enough away from it now. Threat level unknown. That's good. An aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others in space. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms demonstrates no recognized defensive behavior. Mechanisms located in the head region provide its warping ability, uh, which it uses to stalk its targets. Appears to hunt other life forms, but no, di 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 no digestive organs have been identified. Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms. Unable to distinguish whether organic or artificial in nature. Further research required. Cool. Oh boy. Why do I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here? There's another warper. I... I... I can't tell what's a soundtrack and what's like a roar. Fuck it, we're go- we're gunning. We're gunning. We're going. We're going. We're going where no man should really go if they value their life. Whoa. Hello. Oh, hi, yes. What the fuck? Can you please piss off? Are those... Are you gonna... You gonna... You gonna do anything? You gonna do anything? I got torpedoes. I... Okay, you don't seem hostile. Here's another alien... What the fuck is that? Is that a... That's a skeleton. Are you bad people? Uh, you don't seem to be. I'm kind of tempted to scan you, but, uh, also not. Whoa, 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 my scanner is going fucking crazy. The prominence and facing of these aliens' devices suggested they're kind of a probe or sensor. Their subject would seem to be the vast skeleton in the center of the cavern. The attached cable network may lead to a remote power station or a data hub. Can I scan the skeleton? Ancient skeleton. Alright. Skeleton of a million-year-old armored carnivore, the projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. The oceans of the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Cool! Oh fuck, we need a tablet. Uh, we have tablets back at the base. Issue, though. That's back at the base, not here. I guess we can look around a little bit more? I'm a bit nervous too. Stop making that noise. It's just, that just sounds like someone's that just sounds like someone's going Aah! into like a cup or something. <laughs> making very odd noises. Stop hitting my ship. This place is spooky. This place is just a little bit spooky. Seriously, those noises are weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, these sound effects are getting just a- they're- they're spooky, but they're also kind of silly. <laughs> just kind of hugging the walls. Oh! Oh, okay, we have actually been making our way to the Degasi hideout. Okay. Okay. So maybe this place isn't that bad? This probably- it's probably pretty bad, but you know. Well, that was neat. I hope you all enjoyed that little trip. Uh, that was that f fucking that was the goddamn Willy Wonka fucking tunnel if I've ever seen it. Just one random spooky moment and then just hey, we're here. <laughs> Welcome aboard, fucking warper. I know it's around here. Where there you are. Nope. Goodbye. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There we go. Uh, poisonous flesh. Okay. Making you one of the most resilient herbivores. Feeding behavior feeds on plant matter. Race species is adapted to deep sea conditions. His body is fully protected by a translucent skin. Okay, glad I didn't touch it. Hi again. 
Oh, crab squid. Cool. All right, where's the habitat? Oh, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Let me just get myself in here. Hey, haha. -ha. Suck a dick. Hey, there we go. Oh. <gasps> hey, all power to shields. Oh, boy. I think there's a lot of shit in here. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, non bunch of non-functional stuff. But we'll take that. Uh, oh, orange tablet. That's different. That's different. New hmm. Actually, that might have been the tablet we were looking for. Also, hi, motorcycle. How are you doing? All right. Now. I need to plan my epic escape. So. Yes, hi, I hear you. I haven't forgotten you're there. Is the moon pool there? I already got the moon pool. Hi. Hello. Fucker. Away. Okay. Swim charge fins. Neat. A coffee vending machine. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah, pretty much. Well, someone had fun for a while before they died. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. Hello out there. Hi. Nice weather we're having. Yes, hello. Oh, well, you turned my flashlight off. How dare you? Let me just, uh, hello. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Goodbye. In fact, actually, eat this. Hold on to that for me. And, uh, yep, that sent it flying. <laughs> I don't even know where it ended up, but it's gone. Yeah, that is, that is basic, not, that's not a black hole torpedo, but it is a gravity torpedo, and I think it just causes the game's physics to go wonky and just launch whatever's in it somewhere. For all I know, it slammed into the wall at a thousand miles an hour and it's dead. I hope it is. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> I think it's just thoroughly confused, Torito. <laughs> Perfect. Away we go. Back to the depths. Well, at least this area is not too bad, I guess. I mean, it's got warpers and crab squids, but we can at least outrun them. Uh, let's try to find that door again. Ow. Sorry. Okay. Aha! Aha! Perfect. Come with me, Poot Poot! Welcome aboard, Captain. Ooh. He sees spooky. Significantly less spooky than everything outside, but you know, still spooky. Another creature egg. Might as well pick that up, I got room. Equip the maintenance, staff maintenance, specimen analysis, specimen gene manipulation. Let's pick that up, I suppose. We got the, uh, we got the thing to- Oh, hello. Gimme. 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 Is this a map? Uh, the aliens discovered the life forms on the planet, uh, have just one sex. Oh, so they are, uh, they do reproduce asexually. Okay. Uh, they observed local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction. There you go. All healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying. Uh, were capable of egg laying. A, 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 eggs usually require. Eggs. Eggs usually require <laughs> genetic material from uh, from another uh, of the species. <clears throat> uh, it's in rare case only one pa uh, parent was required with evolutionary mutation. Uh, introduced by the effects of the environment itself, research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. Okie dokie. I guess that's everything here. Eggs. <laughs> eggs. I don't know why the fuck I almost said eggs, but I did. Eggs. Let's build a specimen chamber. Indeed. After we get out of here. Now comes the great escape. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? <laughs> Hello, Warper. 
No, goodbye. Goodbye to you. I say goodbye to you, silly person. Why are you screaming? Fuck off. Okay, well that was spooky. But, uh, hey. We succeeded. We got what we needed, I think. I'm going the wrong way. I, I'm about to head out. Well, I'm about to head out once I find my way. <laughs> think this was the right way. The music! It is spooky! I've also been noticing a lot more infected creatures lately. That's a bit concerning. But alright. We got what we needed from there. Let's go build ourselves that uh, containment thing, a mob bobber. Oh, wow. While maybe while I don't also crash head first into a fucking wall, Seth. <laughs> Probably a good idea to not do that. <sighs> Feeling a little more relaxed now. Yeah, we also need to listen to the audio logs from the Degasi, so uh, let's do that then. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biomagics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Hmm. That's... not good. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid. I brought you some. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Well, the last one is called Disaster, so I think I know exactly what, uh, what happened. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torical. Has disembarked the mm. habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. <clears throat> Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Oh. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that Leviathan was dead. <laughs> Just gonna go on a limb here and guess. I don't think the Leviathan was dead. I think it was playing dead. Either that, or it was really hurt, and then it got really pissed. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. A rupture threw me clear of the habitat, and the monster turned and bore down on me. 
Just as its tentacles came within reach, Mader appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. So either that thing wasn't dead, or something wasn't happy that its friend was suddenly beaten to a pulp and decided to come pay decided to come pay uh, pay them a visit. Either way, I'm glad I left there when I did. Because I imagine there were bad things. Either that was a reaper or something else because we saw that skeleton so we know there's other types there or at least there were or there are other types of reapers. Not reapers, leviathans. So uh, yeah, oh damn we need a lot of glass. Okay, so we need five glass and two titanium to make that containment uh, facility. Let's do that. What'd you miss? Quite a bit. We explored a brand new biome, uh, played a ring around the rosy with a bunch of crab squids and found the uh, alien containment facility and found what happened to the Degasi crew. They got eaten by a different type of leviathan, I imagine. Yeah, they said it had tentacles. Now, the reaper does have those mandibles, but the reaper does not have tentacles. So they're, they, they got attacked by something else. Maida and, uh, Paul got destroyed by the fucking whatever that leviathan was. And Paul died of infection back on the surface. What a lovely story. Hey. Provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Let's go ahead and build ourselves the hatch. And then we will hatch, haha, <laughs> the alien containers. We'll just drop the eggs then. Oh. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. Oh my god, it's adorable. Look at that little, look at that little bastard in there. He looks all happy. All right, I'm going to come back later when they've hatched. Look at that little, those, okay, that's fucking adorable. We also have that giant egg. I'm probably gonna give that thing its own habitat, because I don't think it'll play nice with the cute ones. Ah, lovely music. Holy shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> um... Okay, fucking stalker congregation over here. What the- and they're all play- I think they're all playing with my camera drone. <laughs> it's a fucking whole gaggle. Ah, Jesus Christ. How many fucking blast fish? Did we just speed past? <laughs> that was like a, that was like the escape scene of a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> so we're gonna need, we need to name, we need to name our prawn suit. Uh, I already have a name in mind, actually. So how are the little guys doing? Ah, uh, they're getting there. They're getting there. Aww. God damn it! That's too fucking cute. Stalker, please. I, I, I will headbutt you. I'm gonna headbutt you. <laughs> yeah. I think he learned his lesson. <laughs> There's not a whole lot you can do when you're uh, when you're being attacked in the Seamoth, but you can bop him. 
I like how <laughs> I like how it hung its hame in shame. Or it hung its hame? What the fuck, Seth? Hung its head in shame. Okay, so so far in the stream we've had eggs and we've had hame. <laughs> Would you guys like some eggs and hame? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck has happened to the stream? <laughs> You know, you're a professional YouTuber and streamer when you kill- when you can make yourself die of laughter. <clears throat> okay, so what do y'all think about this? Vel Doodles, thank you for the 164 bits. Uh, coping, Seth, we have encountered dangerous Life-threatening EMP spiders, yeeted some of them in the process, <laughs> seen dead leviathan class creature skeletons, and rescued cute fishes and they hatched. Hold on a second. And rescued, uh, uh, cute fishies from the depths of the sea. I think we need a moment to laugh a bit. Indeed. And we also need a moment to, uh, see the little boys. Hi. They've hatched. Oh, they're called cuttlefish. God damn it, that's too cute. We're gonna scan you, little cute little bastards. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Strangely, this specimen has not been encountered in the wild, and the scans... <clears throat> and the scanned specimen had to be artificially hatched within an alien containment unit. Really? Uh, that, that <laughs> Hello. Uh, in the absence of wild specimens, uh, little can be known for certain about the cuttlefish's life cycle. It is possible that environmental conditions have changed. Uh, <clears throat> yes, thank you. I'm reading. Uh, forcing, the uh, forcing the species to, uh, to the edge of extinction. Oh, poor things. And leaving its eggs in permanent stasis. It is also possible the cuttlefish has been genetically altered or even imported to 4546B from another world. Uh, this creature seems to understand the concept of other minds, the prime indicator of true sentience, and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps and chirps. That is too fucking cute. God damn it. Uh, evidence suggests the cuttlefish is capable of understanding and following simple commands, in addition to assessing the emotional state of individuals around it and responding in kind. So they are actually water puppies. That is... Vital signs stabilizing. God damn it, that is too cute. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll bring one of you little buddies outside. Come here. Come here, little guy. Let's go for a walk. Ah. <laughs> Command to follow. Hey! Hey, little guy. Oh my god. Play with fish. God damn it. No, you can't do this to me. You can't. I'm gonna be here all day if you do this to me. Oh! <laughs> it didn't want it, apparently. Yeah, let's try this again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> god damn it. I'm gonna be here all day. This is too fucking cute. Eh, put it there, little buddy. Look at this little bastard. He's so happy. He's so happy and innocent. He does not deserve to be on this world with horrible monstrosities. Ah! <laughs> Fucking goddammit. This is the best part of the game so far. Alright, well, you have fun, little guy. What are we gonna name him? What are we gonna name him? He needs a name. In fact, we need to name the other one as well. Hey, buddy, I have a friend for you. This one look familiar? Alright, so what are we gonna name them? Poot and Toot. Okay, you know what? That works. <laughs> yeah, it works. The, the, they are now Poot and Toot. <laughs> that works. So, okay, to run down the list of named things we have, we have our Cyclops, the Pootus Mobile. We have our Seamoth, the Poot Poot Mark III. We have our Prawn Suit, Mr. Fister. And we have our two little cuttlefish, Poot and Toot. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Who is who? Um, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Sweet. Oh god, they're electrical. You know, some, some tells me I don't want to put my feet in those things while I'm in the water, but you know what? Whoever said I was smart. Hey. No, you do not. You. You leave my little boy alone. 
You get the fuck out of here. Get out. Poot. Poot, you okay? Poot. Come here, buddy. It's okay. It's all right, buddy. You're all right. You're okay. Hey. Get away. Get away. Get away from my little poot. Get the fuck away. You're gonna cause trouble. I will actually behead you. All right, come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Let's get you back over here with your brother. There you are. There you go. I assume they're... I. Well, I mean, I guess they're asexual, but, you know. Hey, my sea moth. My sea moth. Bitch. Bitch. Are we gonna have a problem? Are we actually gonna have an issue? Now I'm legit worried for these two. Now I'm legit worried that they're gonna- I'm gonna go out to explore and they're gonna be dead when I get back. Just add baby seats in the sea moth. I fucking wish you could. You could add like mini, uh, mini biomes on the side of it. That'd be adorable. Uh, so what other areas do I need to explore? We'll, we'll be found the Degasi hideout. There is still a bit more of that area surrounding pod 19 to explore. And, uh, well, there is one other place we haven't been to yet. Life pod 12. Yeah, that one sunk 250 meters. And, uh, guess where it is? Over by the Reapers. Smack dab in the middle of Reaper territory. Oh, coffee! Right, we need to make the coffee machine. We, we absolutely have to make the coffee machine. This is utmost importance. Right next to the bed? Yeah, you know what? That works. I'm pretty sure many people would love to be able to... I could use some coffee, actually. I'm, sh I'm sure this would be many people's paradise. Wake up, press a button right next to your bed, and get coffee. <laughs> so, I believe that just... Yep, four H2O. Lovely. Delicious. Also, yeah, crunchy coffee, apparently. Appa apparently my guy just ate the fucking cup. <laughs> I mean, Al-09 could probably eat the entire cup. Maybe the thing is he doesn't have a mouth. He's just, he's got his whole head is like a, a dome visor thing. So yeah, he, he has no mouth. These little bastards are too goddamn cute and it should be illegal. Here, come here. You need a pet. All right, now let's be careful not to... Okay, there we go. All right, you two be safe. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hopefully. This is gonna be fun. I mean, thankfully, we do have Vortex Torpedoes, and I do have that Perimeter Defense System, which I have not tried out yet. But I'm pretty sure if you actually get grabbed by a Reaper, you can use that to blast him away. Rabbit Ray? Oh, they were- oh, so a couple of the eggs hatched. Okay, so one of them was a Rabbit Ray. Ow, the other one was a Spade Fish. So what was the big one, then? Well, I guess we'll find out eventually. Let's repair this, because, like, apparently hitting a school of fish does a lot of damage. Oh, it was a Stalker. Huh. Okay, so the big egg was a stalker egg. I hope it doesn't eat the other two eggs in there. I'm just listening for... Yep. There it is. There it is. <sighs> Let's keep down low to the ground. Maybe we can avoid them. Ow. Ow. Whoa, hello. Okay, there's... There's a lot of hostile things around here. Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise cool. caution when diving deeper. Yeah, I figured. Integrating new PDA data. Let's take a look at that before we do anything else. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but... I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan, and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. 
What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Well then. Well then. Okay. So... I think the Reapers are further up. I'm not gonna go see him. Oh, yeah. Ah! What the fuck? Oh, it's a mesmer. Fuck off. I'm just gonna get back in my Seamoth. And we're gonna head back home. We'll come back and explore this area a little bit later. Has ah, yeah. Yes, hi. Anything? Whoa! That's a thermal vent. That is a big thermal vent. Hi, yeah, yeah. This. Yeah, I can hear it. I can still hear it. I can't see it, and I don't plan on seeing it. I'm leaving. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting the fuck out. I am not looking back. Jesus fucking Christ, I hate that noise. You can make a battery charger there. Yeah, you're right. I could make it- I could actually make a base there, uh, with the thermal vents. I might actually do that, now that I think about it. Um... Uh, yeah, I saw that game. I, I saw that. Don't think I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, next time, we're gonna head back to that area. We're going to build a scanner. And, uh, we're gonna see... We're gonna see... What is there? If there's any luck, I might find nickel or kyanite. Not gonna, not gonna bet on it though. Gonna check on the two little guys before we uh, dock. Yep. There's poot, and there's toot. Yep, they're good. <sighs> I know we didn't see any reapers, but goddamn, I could hear them. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me on today's stream. Before we leave, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, say goodbye to these two. Hello. You have a good day. I'll be back later. And... Can't leave without giving uh, you a snack. Okay, you didn't want it. Alright then. Well, either way, y'all have thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Very- Oh, right. Look at the eggs. Right. Uh, the eggs hatched. I forgot. So what do we have? Aw, it's a tiny stalker. It's so small. Look at it. It's tiny. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the stupid amounts of donations today. Thank you all for coming. I had fun, as I always do. Hope you all did too. And I will see you next time. Bye. If you want to catch these streams way before they appear on YouTube, then be sure to go follow me at twitch.tv slash Sathorban. I stream every weekend, and I would love to see you there. If you want to keep up to date with this channel, then be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.